Hi, my name is Khan and in this next chapter we will talk about imbalance and IFC. What is IFC? What is imbalance and what is order block? So first of all, I would like to start with imbalance. Actually, imbalance is also known as a FBC in a present price action. There are different different names. So let's start in a various structure. As you can see here, this is a last candle before this drop. So this is a last candles low is here extend here okay and the mark the next candle next second candle which is here high is here right so between this low and high this gap is a called imbalance fvz inefficient price action right so this one is a proper imbalance correct and sometime what happened market did not create this imbalance and fill this imbalance so that is not a called imbalance okay so in this case you can see here this low and this high is here still imbalance correct and maybe this candles extend here okay so this imbalance down as like this okay so this is a minor imbalance but still imbalance okay so this one is also valid imbalance and this one is also valid now let's move a little bit lower as you can see here this low and this high is already mitigating okay so there is no imbalance left as you can see here there is no imbalance so this one is also mitigated same thing apply in a bullish market as you can see here this high is here and low is here so between this high or low and this one is a called imbalance correct and next is high this candles high and the next candles low is here so this one is also called imbalance right and this imbalance can be a different in a size like this here you can see this is a larger imbalance this is a minor imbalance and same thing is here and this is a medium imbalance this is a little bit bigger imbalance and this imbalance can be more bigger or smaller like here i am showing you exactly maybe imbalance like this right so it's depend on the market strength momentum so as you can see here on the next this high and this candle slow which is here so there is no imbalance already mitigated so this is a not imbalance correct so on the extreme point there is a no imbalance and same thing is here there is a no imbalance and this is an imbalance so this is a simple step to identify the imbalance in a bullish and bearish market let's switch into the real chart to identify the imbalance this low candle slow which is here okay and this candles high which is here so this is a imbalance between this candlestick right okay and same thing is here the next candles low and next candles high between this zone this is also known as a imbalance correct and the third zone is here this is a minor imbalance correct and now you can see in a both in a three zone this one is a here correct and yeah. okay so now you can see three zones are looks differently but there is imbalance on the last one is a minor imbalance and this one second one is a medium imbalance and on the extreme this is a higher imbalance right so these are imbalance if you notice here on the next candlestick which is high is here and low is here so this is already mitigated so there is a no imbalance right so this is an imbalance and there is a no imbalance between this high or low right so on the next point you can see here this candles high this candle low and this candles high next candle and this is a imbalance 
and also known as a FVZ as I told you and inefficient price action so there are different different name but everything work similar right so this is a imbalance and uh, there is one more imbalance below it here correct so this one is also imbalance and if I mark here and this is here which is already mitigated so there is a no meaning to mark this one right so this is a not imbalance correct and same thing is here all everything is a mitigated right even you can see here clearly this mitigated here and this is a mitigated by this one and this is a mitigated by this one there is no imbalance between this zone right and there is still some imbalance here because this candle is low and this candle is high between this so already filled this gap now so this is now not longer too valid imbalance right so this is a imbalance in a bearish market now let's move into the bullish market and this is a current price action okay so same thing apply in a bullish price action as you can see here if i mark on the bottom to top then you can see here clearly this candle low and this candles high sorry this candles high previous and this candles low and between this zone this is a imbalance correct and same thing you know at the current price action here this is also imbalance this is also imbalance right so this is a simplistic way to identify the imbalance okay it doesn't matter that market momentum is a bullish or bearish you have to identify the gap between both candlestick as i mentioned right so now let's move on to the next topic which is order block so this is a order block that how we can identify them actually order block is a specific candlestick which we can see on the extreme and middle of the move so these are last buying candle before the sell is a called order block in a bearish market and last selling candle before the buy in a bullish market is a called also order block and this can be a between of this move and let me show you how so first thing is to identify any order block price must be break of the structure in this case as you can see here market is a bearish okay and generally these are our break of the structure right so market momentum is a bearish so where is our order block last buying candle before the sell is a called order block so in this case what is the last buying candle before the sell which is here right so this is our last buying candle before the sell which is here correct so this is our order block bearish order block and we will expect price go higher and then push downside to fill this order block right so price push higher to mitigate this order block before go downside so this is a called bearish order block and order block may be a bit pain of this move uh, for example here okay and maybe market push higher and then market can make order block here also okay so it's depend on the condition it's depend on the situation i will show you on live chart that how we can identify them okay so this is a bearish order block and same thing apply in a bullish order block and just reverse of the bearish order block so as you can see here this is a bullish order block when market break higher high in a bullish market so you have to see that where is the last selling candle before the sell so now you can see here on the extreme point this candle is the last selling candle before this buy move so i will mark this zone as a bullish order block and one more thing you need to understand order block must have imbalance if there is no imbalance so order block will be not valid right for example here if this 
candle mitigate this order block already so this order block is not valid to mark this zone correct so because this order block is already filled right so before to mark any order block imbalance there is imbalance must be we can expect a bullish scenario in a bullish market something like this to mitigate this order block and again push higher okay so this is a basic and simple thing to identify the order block and this is the easiest way to identify first identify the trend if market break in a downside okay then you have to wait to see where is the last buying candle before the sell in a bearish market right so that's called your order block right so this one is a called bullish order block and order block must we have imbalance imbalance you know very well i mentioned already right now let's move on the real chart to see how we can identify them as you can see here market break the structure market momentum is a bearish so as i already mentioned that market must be break the structure so market take the structure after broken this low so you have to see where is the last buying candle before the sell first move is here on this level as you can see here there is a last buying candle before the sell is here but as you know this is already mitigated by this move okay so this is a not still this is a not valid longer right because it's already mitigated by this move before this break of the structure so after this we can see there is any last buying candle before the sell actually this candlestick was last buying candle before the sell but there is no imbalance right so how we can mark exactly and how we can refine it you have to see the next candle there is any imbalance between this candle i think it's already mitigated so there is a no imbalance right so as you can see in a next candle which is here this is a imbalance and with order block correct there is a minor imbalance and order block so this one is a called valid order block which is here right so this is a imbalance and this is a order block so if we can sell here this is a extreme point where we can sell and the next zone when we can expect so this is a last buying candle before the sell is here right so this is a last candle before the sell but this minor big already mitigate this candle so what we can we can refine it okay and we can refine it here like this okay so this can be your refinement order block correct and this is your another order block which is here because this is the last buying candle before this move right so there are different different order block so how we can choose which order block is a correct or not i will show you and i will teach you in next upcoming chapter about liquidity right so this is a general thing you have to see that how we can identify the order block actually right so uh, we can see here market push downside and take some reaction on given order block and then push a downside so generally we can see here already this is a another break of structure is here correct so how we can identify the another order block in a bearish market so where is the last buying candle before the sell you have to mark first thing this was last buying candle before the sell which is already mitigated right so this one is already mitigated so there is no longer valid here right so this one is already mitigated so where is the next zone next zone is here this candlestick last buying candle before the sell which is already mitigated by this move correct so this is also not valid so where is the next candle this candle can be your next order block which is here right because in this candlestick you can see there is still imbalance correct so this is a 
crystal imbalance right so this is a simple and easy way to identify the order block in a bearish and bullish market okay so you will get a lot of idea to see in a ebook as i mentioned and diagram everything okay so now let's move on the next point which is called ifc what is ifc ifc means institutional funding candle which candle took the previous candles low or high it's a called ifc and this is a little bit part of the liquidity but this is a very important you have to understand it looks like a order block but there is a minor difference but this candle is a very powerful compared to order block right so how we can identify them first thing you have to identify the order block there is necessary okay so as you can see here this is a bullish market and this is our break off structure correct and this one is your break off structure and you have to buy so when we can buy some people mark this is a order block no this is a not order block this candle is not last selling candle before the buy right why because this candles already taken the previous candle low okay so as you can see here this is a taken out previous low and close above this high right so this candles close above this high so this entire candle is a called ifc institutional funding candle correct and this candle is more powerful compared to any order block right so we can buy here to push higher like this okay so this is a valid entry criteria for the buy on ifc candle right all right as you can see here in a bearish market this is a bearish market market break the structure is here so first thing you have to mark the order block and ifc so how we can identify and how we can identify difference between both of them so first thing is on the extreme point this is a clean order block right and this is a order block why this is a last buying candle before this drop so we will consider this as a order block and look at the middle of the move we can see market take the high like this and close below it so this move is a called ifc institutional funding candle and now you can see market tape on this zone and push downside extremely right so this is a difference between order block and ifc uh, i'm not saying that you need to wait only for ifc you can trade also in a order block and we will discuss in a later in next upcoming chapter in a details so this is a ifc and this is a order block right so this is a main difference between order block and ifc ifc is a more powerful compared to order block right so same thing apply here as you can see here if you know that uh, this one is your structure break and this has been liquidity taken out i mean previous high taken out and uh, this will be your next order block i mean next ifc in another time frame still there is no imbalance but in another time frame it's still imbalance so we can see market tap on it and then push downside extremely so there is different between ifc and order block these are really powerful candlestick and i'm going to show you some bullish scenario to mark the actual ifc so this is a another example in a bullish market as you can see here market break the structure after break the structure you have to identify the order block and ifc so in this move this is a break of structure push higher where is order block order block is here right and now you can see order block trap here but market take this ifc candlestick trap here and push higher so it's more powerful compared to order block it's uh, you can see it's the latest version of the order block but why because this candlestick take the previous low means 
take the previous candles stop loss okay so this candle is a more powerful that's why okay so these are thing you have to understand and you have to mark the correctively order block imbalance and ifc break of structure i hope you learn a lot of new valuable thing in this episode let's move into the next chapter which is i will talk about what is smc and what is retailers and how and why they fail and let's switch into the next chapter thank you